Uh, exciting times for kids, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this is done. It's incredible how I don't necessarily plan my day, but it gets filled, like, immensely. You can leave that blank to start with the questions. I think something that we as a district have is, again, we do serve uh, just the families with with a caring spirit. So here, she's going to be living with you. I think one of my main goals is for each family makes contact with the school. A lot of them for the first time. Um, I want to leave them with a good impression. Um, just that we are here to serve them, we're here for them, and we can feel welcome and comfortable with our district and get them started in the, um, in the right way with us, you know, with a good experience, a positive experience. And hopefully that will continue throughout the, their whole experience with Columbus Public School and their career, educational career here. This is what we call the health history. So I think there's there's a really big sense of community here in Columbus. Um, people do try to watch out for each other and help each other out. I think something that we as a district have is, again, we do serve um, just the families with, with a caring spirit. And um, I think that we also try to continually improve in the way we do things. Um, even around our communities, I think we, we spearhead some of those you know, innovation and, and different services we provide. And we're always on top of the line. And Columbus really is a city of power and progress. And I see that in the school system, that we're constantly in that progress. And I enjoy that because it keeps you going and active and, and improving yourself and, and you know, serving your families better each day. These are the vision. Yeah, I think that uh, it's really important to be organized. Um, I consider myself organized for the most part, and I think that's a skill that you really need, um, just because you are dealing with all these people. Um, I have my little checklist that I have to go through, make sure I don't forget things, because it is a lot of a lot of details you have to remember, and then a whole process for just a single student. I mean, getting register, fill out the forms, make sure you have everything you need, put them in the system, and make sure you notify the right people to expect those students uh, and, and get things ready. So I think being organized is a, is a must. Um, you really have to, even even when you try to be organized, I mean, things slip here and there, but, but that's something that's very helpful. I think sometimes the pressure I feel of being the newbie is um, being prepared to answer most of their questions um, and for the most part, I do know what what I should expect and how to answer most of the questions, but there's always somebody that stumps you and trying to find the right answer. But I'm honest and say, well, I don't have the answer for that yet, but I can definitely look into it. And I'd like to think that I, I my personality is welcoming to people. Um, I feel being a minority, uh, Hispanic, I think that's a plus. Um, because I'm also able to serve um, Spanish speakers, and that's one of the largest populations in our district. I am busy, what do you mean? All right. Well, definitely I would have synergy in that belt, because I use it all the time, and I would have the help desk yeah. information handy, um, because that's always being used. Um, I would have my coworker, Suzanne, on my bell just because she's my mentor right now and she answers most of my questions and things I can't figure out, she definitely has an answer for. So, um, it's probably about it. I first started using it and I was crying too. I was like, no, what is this? It's a learning new system. So.